Really excited to talk about creating the ultimate customer experience. Um, so many reasons why your customers gotta love what you're doing, right? We so many, so much data out there about cost to keep a customer versus cost to get a new customer. Um, and when it comes to the customer experience, a couple names should come to mind, right? Like Walt Disney, for example, right? Creating everything at Walt Disney is so highly tuned to the customer experience. And there's a guy at a Savannah who bought the worst baseball team in the league. He renamed it. Um, it's 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 some it's college summer baseball. Well, here, here's a couple of big ideas to find your yellow tucks. Identify your only your only don't be everything for everyone what is your only what do you do better than anybody else the quote here is what makes you or your business stand out it's not enough to be better or have a competitive advantage or have a better price point you have to highlight what makes you different abnormal creates attention nobody really wants normal nobody wants mainstream they want things that people excel at so people are drawn to my favorite quote in entrepreneurship comes from Jerry Garcia, The Grateful Dead. He said, we don't want to be considered the best at what we do. We want to be considered the only ones who do what we do. Create attention. By building your experience around a story, customers will share that. So look at the new Disney Galactic Starship, the Star Cruiser. It's $1,500 a day for an all-inclusive ticket. It's basically a uh, you got on a starship in Star Wars. It's like a cruise ship, but you're on land. You pick up a mission, you interact with characters. The characters are so realistic, they're scaring kids. It's amazing. The whole thing is about putting you in the story. And Jesse lays out three loves. The house is interesting. I hadn't seen something like this in others. Um, maybe the four agreements is, is close, but he says, love your customers more than you love your product. Love your team more than you love your customers and love yourself above all, right? When you're an entrepreneur, corporate, or in a startup, you're going to, you're going to bat. Like you are going to war against the market, against complaints, against common competitors. If, if you don't love your customers, people you work with and serve, and the team who is between you and the customers, or yourself, your journey is gonna suck. Make the journey quality. As far as help great customers, you're gonna to want to serve, you want to help, and a great team that you want to work with. Jesse Cole talks about mirror moments, which I was taught to me in grad school as moments of truth. Every single interaction you have with a customer, whether it's his example in the baseball field, right? When you buy your ticket on the website or at the gate, walking through the gate, going to the bathroom, to finding your seat, what happens in between innings, what happens during a game. Every single interaction you have with the customer is an opportunity that will increase or decrease the value of the experience. Now Jesse takes it a step further. He says, identify the moments that give you energy. Find these moments that give you customer excitement and really lean into them. How do you make those more fun, right? How do you increase the delight of an experience that's already where you like going, where your natural inclination is already leading you? And then identify the moments that cause frustration and how do you improve the negative experiences? A couple, we're in two more slides and we'll wrap up this section. Um, think about your customer experience as a marriage. It's a long-term relationship and then go in the same direction together, right? I love, the, I love the marriage advice that when you're solving a problem, it's you and your partner versus the problem, not each other. If you think about that, it's you and your customers doing something together, helping them do something. It's Customers never forget an experience they have with their company, good or bad. The mediocre ones, it, the, the middle of the road stuff doesn't matter. But the good and the bad are gonna stick with people, and importantly, they're gonna tell their friends. Your customers are your biggest source of referral. And the last slide here is this idea of a fans first strategy. So never Jesse Cole, is thinking about how to increase the experience or lead into the joy or decrease frustration, he puts himself in the seat of a customer. I think he has a really strong advantage here because everyone's been to a sporting event. But I can't tell you how many practitioners in an industry or a field get into business without ever thinking about the customer. 
And think about this with people like CPAs, right? Accountants who start their own accounting firm, do the accounting for somebody else in a big firm, now they want to start their own thing. That's cool. But people like that have never had to find or hire somebody to do their taxes for themselves or for their business. They've always been a practitioner moving into the entrepreneur role. So you gotta do some interviews or even do some dummy uh, buying, right? So maybe register an LLC, go through that process, realize all the problems, make a checklist of all the frustration points, all the questions that you have that come up, and actually go to other accountants. See how this all the problems, how would they guide you? How would they sell you on their package or their retainer? What artifacts, what moments of truth do they present to you? Then you can go through it and then you, you get your fans first experience that way.